The Cross Community, this is Father Erasmus once again. Always an honor to be reaching out to you. And I'm sitting here on a nice uh, sunny day uh, in the backyard of our church um, by the remnants of an old building that used to be here um, that now does not exist. And as I'm sitting here, I'm just uh, enjoying the weather. I'm also um, enjoying the beautiful roses that are right behind me. And I also am enjoying seeing our beautiful church that is in front of me. And as I'm sitting here on the ledge and taking a few minutes to do this video, uh, my message today is as follows. Well, we just celebrated the Feast of the Virgin Mary. And one of the readings that we read uh, for the Gospel readings for the Feast of the Virgin Mary is um, where Jesus Christ had visited the house of Mary and Martha. And Jesus Christ uh, was preaching in the house and Martha was busy and um, in serving the tables and how important it is to serve and I've been to monasteries and definitely they take time to serve as an officer's food. And Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus Christ and listening to his words. So at one point we hear that Martha was frustrated um, with Mary that uh, she was not helping her out in serving and as um, Jesus Christ responded to her and says Martha Martha you're troubled uh, and worried about many things but one thing is needful and Mary has chosen the, the better portion which in other words is that it is good to serve as you are uh, Martha but more importantly is to sit down and hear the Word of God and I say this to you as I'm sitting down and taking some time to do this message. Um, I probably would not be here in this corner, in this beautiful corner, just sitting here and praying or contemplating um, if it wasn't for the necessity of doing a video. And as I'm doing this video, I'm doing one more thing. Um, and we get caught up many times in doing a lot of work. Um, I know that now this is the end of August and I know that in two weeks time our church will be in full swing once again from September until mid-June and in one sense I am bracing myself for that reality of working uh, very very hard and to keeping up with the pace but uh, the question again is is Martha Martha you're troubled by many things but one thing is needful and the thing that we need to be worried about is are we living a life that's close to Christ are we living a life that we take time to read the Bible are we living a time a life that we have time for prayer and asking God to answer our problems asking God to make our projects become a fruition asking God that our children be raised uh, correctly asking God that um, relationships are built asking God that financially we are okay you see we work 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 and um, it's a good thing to be working because otherwise we will be lazy and that's uh, a vice but we have to be careful because the devil takes us to a different extreme to the extreme of not having time to do the one thing that is needful as Jesus Christ says to to Martha and that is to be like Mary and sit at the, at the feet of Jesus Christ and hear his words how many of us are too busy to pray how many of us are too busy to read the scripture um, and therefore my message is uh, as a reminder that we need to do this see Jesus Christ also told us that we have to seek his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you it's kind of saying to us that if we take the time to pray if we take the time to um, rely on him that he will provide but since you don't then do it yourselves and um, we are called to work ourselves we cannot be lazy but we do not allow Jesus Christ's words to come to a fruition that he will provide for us and therefore as we're about to enter September as we're about to start running around as a parish may we realize that it is important to take at least Sunday morning to be here in church you see, what, what's happening on Sunday morning is a reminder that we have to be Mary and not Martha. We are Martha the whole week, but the church says, I want you to be a Mary on Sunday morning. I don't want to put anything else. And this is the time for you to sit by and listen to Jesus Christ. 
to hear the, the, the divine service, to hear the epistle reading, to hear the gospel reading, and to and to hear the sermon, good or bad, that comes to find the Erasmus. Uh, so as I leave you for this week, let's all turn to become um, Mary and not Martha, and may we appreciate the last few days of uh, the quietness of the summer, and I pray that truly God gives us uh, a blessing as we enter into the new year. Ευρίσκω με εδώ, εις το πίσω μέρος της Εκκλησίας μας, το κήπο εδώ, όπου υπάρχουν τα ερήπια ενός χτιβίου που τύχε και σκέφτομαι τα λόγια που ακούστηκαν πολλές φορές, α, ότι είπε ο Χριστός α, στην Μάρθα ότι η Μεριμνά κερτυρβάζει πριν πολλά. Ενώ στη στιχρία, το οποίο είναι να είμαστε κοντά στον Χριστό, να ακούμε το λόγο Του. Και δυστυχώ ο Σιτανάς μας κάνει τόσο, α, 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 να απασχολούμαστε με τόσα πολλά πράγματα και να μην έχουμε καιρό για τα πιο σημαντικότερα που είναι να ακούσουμε το μήνυμα του Χριστού. Εύχομαι και εμείς να, να μαθαίνουμε από τα λάθη μας, ότι χωρίς το Θεό, χωρίς την παρουσία του, χωρίς την ευλογία του, δεν γίνεται τίποτε. Προσπαθούμε, προσπαθούμε, αλλά με την ευλογία του Θεού, όπως οι Άγιοι μας, τόσες παραδείγματα έχουμε εις των Δίων των Αγίων, όπου διαθάματος, όταν δεν υπήρχαν, ας πούμε, σιτάροι ή λάδι στα μοναστήρια, διαθάματος ο Θεός α, γέμιζε τις αποθήκες. Λοιπόν, και εμείς εύχομαι α, να είμαστε άτοποι που πιστεύουμε στο Θεό, που κάνουμε χρόνο για να είμαστε κοντά στο Κύριό μας και εύχομαι ο Θεός πάντα να μας ευλογεί α, και να απολαμβάνεστε την ευλογία Του στη ζωή μας. Αμήν.